So today I am filming my monthly update for August. I know that's extremely late. We decided to finally film my August monthly update, but of course I'm going to combine it with September. So this video is going to be very long, but I'll try my best to make it shorter and like my comments for each album will be like shorter. So hopefully it will be the same length as a normal one month monthly update. Anyway, so, and I'm sorry I look like an actual rat, like I'm literally still in my pajamas, but um, the first thing I have here is not even an album, it's my signed 17 Hengare, like this part of the album. I just took it out of the album and we're gonna like roll with this. Uh, this is from M-Wave, I wasn't allowed to choose the signatures, so we are happy with who we got. So I have Wanu, and I also got June, and I also got Mingyu. And I also got S Coops, which is the only one I've already owned before, but that's totally fine. Um, they did come with photo cards, obviously, but um, I'm not going to show them because, I mean, if you really want to see them, you can watch my... I, I opened them on Instagram Live, so... Not, not Instagram, sorry, YouTube Live. And that, that was a mess, so actually I wouldn't watch that. <laughs> Next album is Kang Daniel. This is... Okay, I thought I heard a cat. I'm like... But no. It's the next door neighbor's dog. Anyways, um, yeah, so we have Kang Daniel's album Magenta. I actually got his Cyan album too, but I left that in the shelf for some reason. But I got that too. Um, yeah, this one. This is why I don't really like dogs. The only person I allow my dog to bark at is the UPS delivery guy, because that guy's a piece of S-H-I-T. Am I even allowed to spell it on this channel? I don't even know. Thank you. Next one is this one. I mean, it's the same album, but it's the other version. I really liked it, so we ended up getting it, and then I ended up buying Cyan as well. I didn't bring the Cyan stuff over here, unfortunately, because I was just like, yeah. <laughs> All right, here are the album cards. We have this one right here, and then we have this one. That was from one version, and then from the other one, I got this one as well as this one. And then I ordered from K-Town For You, so you got the K-Town For You pre-order cards, which was cool. Next album is one of my favorites, to be honest, of August. It's Itzy, their third mini. Third mini, not shy. There were three versions, so of course I bought them all. The yellow one, the green one, and the red one. JYP is not very creative on version names. Even for Stray Kids, it's just version A, B, C. I think GOT7 too, it's like A, B, C, or, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like, JYP is not very creative with the version names, because this was like A, B, C. But anyways, um, we got all three versions. I love Not Shy, such a bop. Very amazing. I love the whole era, everything about it. Chef's Kiss, amazing. I did buy many copies because different sites did pre-order cards and they were super cute so I couldn't resist, but these are the cards I originally pulled, I think. So I did originally pull two of this Chaedong and I also pulled two of this Leah, the red one. And then I pulled this Liu Jin, the red one, and I pulled this Leah, the red one. And so I traded my, I traded my Chaedong for this Leah. Um, I actually traded my other Leah for a Yuna, but I left that one in my binder and I have this one instead, which was also a trade for this Dujin, so yes. And then I also ordered copies from Sub K because they had cute pre-order cards. So I have this Leah and I have this Chaedong, oh, this is the back, and I have this Yuna. And then I also ordered more copies on um, MMT because they had cute pre-order cards. I have Leah right here and I got uh, Ryujin and I got Chaeryong so yeah that's that I was okay ordering all these albums because I am collecting OT5 for Itzy maybe even possibly the unit cards because they are super cute but number one priority is the selfie cards this album seems like an eternity ago it's Rocket Punch uh, Blue Punch I don't know why Willem continues this bag series I really have a feeling it's gonna go on for a long time until like the whole like colors of the rainbow are gone or something with like the punch series I, I don't know but um I feel like we're going to get a winter themed one as well with this bag I just I can just see it already but anyways Juicy it was not one of my favorite titles by them I do think the rest of the album was really good um but like I think the b-sides are much better than the title track but that's totally fine um the era was still super cute so you actually get two photo cards this time I got Judy and I also got Suyun and then you get this like standy thing. I got Yanni 
very cute. Next album is also one of my favorites this month. I love this group to death. I've just been a huge fan of them ever since they debuted. Love them. It is Oneus. This is their third mini, or is it? Oh gosh. No, okay, so we have first mini, second mini, third mini. This is fourth mini. Fourth mini lived, and I noticed that it actually spells devil, like it spells devil backwards, devil. So I'm pretty sure that was like intentional. But anyways, I loved this comeback so much. To be or not to be, I cannot film this video. The gardeners are right here, but they stopped. But I have a feeling they're going to start up their freaking lawnmowers anytime soon. But anyways, I feel like I'm going to be annoyed the rest of the video. But let me just finish this off. Amazing comeback. One of my favorites. Loved the era. Perfect. I kind of forgot to show my Oneus card, so we're going to do that now. We have uh, Soho right here. And... Shion. That was from the first copy and then the second copy. I ordered one from, I ordered, I can't speak, I ordered one from MMT as well. So I have Connie right here and I also got the other Saho. So that's that. And here's my MMT card. I got Shion. And then my uh, character cards. I got Connie twice, but I ended up trading one of them for Raven, my first Raven of this whole comeback. <laughs> Next comeback is Treasure. This is not a comeback. This is a debut YG's new boy group. I have been super excited for Treasure to debut ever since their um, survival show first released last year. I'm pretty sure it was last year. Has it been that long? I watched it live kind of. I, I was a little bit late with the episodes but um, I tried keeping up but Yes, I basically did watch that live. I loved all their personalities. I was so looking forward to Treasure's debut. I can't, I can't, I can't film this. I literally can't. I hate living in a complex where there's freaking strata gardeners. I freaking hate it. I wish I lived in a house. Oh, there he is. Ugh, and he wears headphones so he doesn't have to hear his freaking loud lawnmower. The rest of us, who, what if someone's out in their garden trying to garden you freaking over here with your lawnmower so freaking loud? I even have my window closed. And my dog's freaking barking and it's so freaking loud like and they don't even do anything they don't even make my house look nicer like do your job properly if you're gonna be this loud i honestly just want to film this but i seriously can't with the gardeners but we're gonna try our freaking best so treasure love them boy was also one of my favorite um like songs of this entire year also this album was super pretty i think yg is doing great things for them so here is the um white one that was the black one yeah, loved everything about this. There is quite a bit for my treasure pulls. So the first card I should have is a Jun Q card, one of his selfie cards, but I ended up trading that one for, I believe, a Haruto card, but that has not arrived yet. So we'll show the rest. I have a Yoshi, a Haruto. I bought two copies of each, by the way. And the special card was Jungwoo. And then in the other one, I got a Yedem. He's my boy, so I was happy about that. And I got a Doyoung and a Junkyu and a, another Junkyu for the special card and then in the other copies these were the first ones that I unboxed I have an Asahi card is this a dupe of mine no this is Jihoon <laughs> and the special card is Mashio and then in the other version I got Jaehyuk and Doyoung and another Jaehyuk this one I pulled um, Junkyu's special card again, but I traded that for Yedem. And my K Town for You cards. I did not originally pull Yedem, I pulled Asahi, but I traded that for Yedem. And I also have a Haruto. And then my postcards I have a um, J Hack and a Doyoung and another J Hack. And then I should have a Junkyu, but I traded that one for. I think it was Mashio. But yeah, so that was my treasure pulls. Next album is Idol. This is their single album, Dum Dee Dum Dee. There's not too much to say about this. It was just a single album, but Cube actually released a physical. I feel like Cube does not make physical albums for singles all that often, so I was kind of shocked that we got this weird packaging. But uh, Dum Dee Dum Dee was a summer bop. So yeah, we got both versions here. And so I'll show the K-Town For You cards first. You do get a group card, one of each type, the day and the night, and then I actually got, I have extra out of the K-Town For You cards. It's a long story. I'm not even going to explain it. So um, I have Mini here, and I also have 
Soyeon, and then they gave me two extra day ones. So I have Sujin, and I also have Shua, super cute. And then the actual album cards, I have this mini right here. And I have a Soyeon. And the ticket things, I have this Shuha. And I have a Mion, super pretty. Next album is Unji from A Pink. This is her third mini, I believe. So yeah, I wanna say third mini, or is it fourth mini? <laughs> I can never remember. Simple. I got this one late as well, um, but I felt like her comeback was really, really good. I think it's one of my favorites from her. Was really impressed by it. So this one is my photo card. And you also get two postcards this one and this one which has a message on the back and i believe this one is the first press card next few albums are more albums i got kind of late uh so i have uh jihoon this is his second mini third mini third mini at the w we have this white one and i also have the black one i really did like his comeback a lot so i uh, i again put this one off i just yeah i was kind of like trying to save at the time but I decided to eventually get it so we did get that his comeback was really good so of course i wanted to support and my cards i have this one right here and this one they're both super cute and this one as well is another album i got really late it's uh Songun's album twilight zone also really liked his comeback i think it's my favorite title by him to date super um catchy here's the black one i really like the cover of the black one it looks super pretty and his packaging is really bulky, which I was kind of, it's a reason why I put off buying this, but his comeback was really good. And I do want to collect all of the 101 solos because I love 101, I miss them every day. My favorite produce group, so. And the cards I got, this one was from the white one, and this one, which is my favorite from the black one, is so pretty. So, so pretty. He is a very pretty man. Next album is a lot. It is Dreamcatcher. They did make their comeback. It was very good. Um, I really liked this album as well, and the packaging is super pretty, as you can see. Um, it's called Dystopia Lose Myself. So here's this one. I believe that's one of the limited editions. And then the red one here is one of the normal editions. And the green one is also one of the normal editions. And then, of course, this more limited looking packaging is the limited edition. This really pretty blue one. It's super thick as well compared to the others. So yeah, we got that. Um, as I said, I really enjoyed their comeback. Look at the spines. That's so gorgeous. There are lots of cards, so we're just going to speedy go through them. And I, I kind of sorted them in specific versions. So these are all the selfies I got. I originally pulled two of this GU, but I did trade one for this Sua, which is super gorgeous. And I also got a Yuhyun, really pretty. And I, okay, and then these next two selfies are from the limited edition. They're like limited selfie ones. So I got Xi'an and a Gahyun, super pretty. And then here's the rest of them. I have a Yuhyun, that's the back. I pulled three of this Gahyun, but one of them was a like a dupe, like it wasn't meant to be in there. So I did trade that one off for like I traded one for another Dreamcatcher card and then the other one for like any other card. Um, so I have this Sua as well. And this one was the trade. I traded my extra guy hand for this Sua. And then I also have a Xi'an. I like the backs of this one. And a Yuhan. So those were all of the album cards. And then my K-Town for You cards. I have this Xi'an right here. And I have a Yuhan. So those were all of my Dreamcatcher cards. This one definitely feels like a while ago. It is AT's their new album. <laughs> I don't even know, is it third? Fourth mini, um, Fever. Zero, Fever part one. Oh my gosh, I was struggling there. So this one is the green and yellow one. And this one is the yellow and orange one. And this one is the red and purple one. They look super cute, like all lined up together. ATs did the double title track again. I think my favorite out of the two is Inception, which actually won as the title track, like, because they let the fans choose again, like last time. So yeah, I'm really happy overall with like Inception era. It was like one of my favorites from them, to be honest. And this album was really, really good too. Yeah, I think ATs always delivers with great music and just everything wonderful. <laughs> so, well, I do want to say Thanks was really good too. I almost like them equally, but I think I like Inception just a tiny bit more. <laughs> but the cards for this album were like not the best. They're like AR cards. It wouldn't be bad if they were selfie AR cards, but they're like far away. So 
yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I have a Hongjoong, which I am not shocked at. I am Hongjoong cursed. I'm not even joking. Everyone knows I pull Hongjoong the most. I pulled him from every album except for one, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, and in the other one, I pulled Yuno, who has been majorly bias wrecking me. And then the last version, it's like not even a, like, I mean, if you play the AR card, you get a picture of them, but the actual card itself does not have any picture on it. So... I got Hong Jung, not shocked there. But since I did order from K-Town for you, I did get the cute pre-order card. So I have Yuno, which is so cute. I originally pulled Mingi, but I traded that one for Wuyang. And I also have a Jungo, super pretty. And very last thing I got in August was Johan's photo book, One Day After Another. It doesn't seem like I got this in August because I only just unboxed it today in October. <laughs> um, I just have not like had time to film it, but and also it was delayed in getting to me, so I don't even think it arrived in August. I think it actually arrived. Yeah, I think it might have even arrived in September, but I did buy it in August, so we're going to put it with the August stuff. So yeah, we got that, and it did come with a pre-order card, which is this right here, and then the actual cards in the album. You got this one this one and this one which is super cute and this is the back so yeah if possible i'm going to continue on with my uh september monthly update so these are all the things i got in september so the first thing i have here is exo's kino for 1 billion views it was a hassle getting all of the kinos let me tell you i would have gotten this last month well i should have got this in august shipping out was extremely delayed so and then I, they sent me two of the group and only one Sehun and it was a mess. So I had to order the Chanyeol one separately, but I did eventually get them all. So yes, here are my cards. We have the group one right here. Sorry, it's upside down or sideways. I have a Sehun and I have a Chanyeol. And then I have the other group. Luckily, I, I did pull the other group, so that was good. Next um, album, which is also one of my favorite comebacks of this month, is Taemin. He finally made his solo comeback, Act 1, Never Gonna Dance Again. I'm really excited for the next act, most likely. I don't know when that will be, but um, I'm not in a rush for it or anything. But this album was fantastic. It was a full album, so look at all these tracks. Uh, it was it was worth the wait, but um, I feel like the promos for this were very minimal, and SM like did the bare minimum for Taemin, and I just I'm kind of upset over that. But um, yeah, I think Taemin deserves a little bit better. You know, like being with SM this long, and he's like one of their most successful soloists. But anyways, so we have uh, this one right here, the red one, and of course I also got the black one, and I do like that they continued the numbering on the spine. I really like that. If I'm going to be honest, I think Criminal might even be my favorite title track by Taemin, and yeah, he has a lot of great songs, so um, that's saying a lot, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed Criminal, one of my top favorite songs of this year so far, and one of my favorite albums as well. Really, really good. Definitely check it out. Of course, knowing SM, they don't really add that many cards in. Like, you get one card per album, so this one was from the red one and this one was from the black one you do also get like a film strip thing and like a photo slide in the other but i don't really care too much about those i just it's the photo cards that i mainly care about so we got those and then next album i have here is a signed album i did get my ab6 signed vivid albums so they are signed by four members obviously i remember i first pre-ordered this on M-Wave when Youngman was still in the group like I pre-ordered on like May 30 or like yeah like May 30 or May 29 or something <sighs> little did I know we would not be getting a signature on here I want to cry every time about it but anyways so here is the yellow one right here signed I actually did get them all here's the um, blue one signed by all of them they did sign on the plastic so I'm a bit nervous. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to protect these fairly soon. And then we have the green one. They all showed up very nicely. Yeah, so I'm very happy with that. And then my photo cards. So I believe I pulled this Donghyun from the yellow one and I pulled this Daehui from the blue one. And then from the green one, I pulled a dupe Daehui. So I stored that away, but yeah. So hopefully I can like trade that or something. I also have more signed M-Wave albums. We have my Stray Kids ones here. Um, I They just signed the photo book, so I just took that out of the album. But I have a Seungmin one right here, which I already have. Same with this one. I already have a Chan signed CD plate, but it is what it is. 
but this one is a first i have a mino i do not have anything signed by mino i do have an all member signed yellow wood album but other than that i didn't have any solo things signed by uh, mino so that was exciting i actually won the m wave meet and greet like thing so i did get the exclusive m wave card which was really cool the only other time that i won was for ab6's first mini so that was exciting and then my photo card pulls so I got this Mino right here, the black back. I also pulled this Felix black one. And I also pulled this Felix double-sided card. And then the rest were all dupes, but I thankfully traded them all. So these were the cards I traded for. I traded for this Sigmin double-sided one. I traded for this Felix black back. And I traded for this Jisung double-sided. So yeah, that's that. Next is another treasure album. They did make a comeback in a very short period of time. Here's their second single, uh, the chapter, oh sorry, what is it? The first step, chapter two. Yeah, it's looking very similar to the first one. The only difference is that there's a heart here and the colors are, it's, it's a little bit different on the cover. But yeah, so their comeback was I Love You. I don't like it as much as Boy, but it was still a bop and um, and the b-side was also really good too um so overall as i said i think treasure are doing amazing and i see really good things in the future for them so oh that's not everything okay i picked up way too much so my photo cards again i did order two copies of each version so overall i had four and this time k-town for you did like double the uh pre-order card so i was like yeah okay i really gotta buy like two anyways so my uh, k-town for you pre-order cards i got a june q there's actually two, like you get two cards per member. So I got the Q set. Okay, and then I got a Jungwon, super cute. Here's the other one. I have so many separate clips because I have to keep pausing because the gardeners keep coming. Anyways, and then next uh, K-Town for you pre-order card is Hyunsug. And here's the other one. Those were the pre-order cards that I got. And then all of these are the, whoa, look at all these cards. All of these are the photo cards, so we'll just do a speedy, quick flip through. So that's Yoshi, and I pulled a, another Yoshi, and a Jung, and a Yoshi special card. And then in the other one, I got another Jungwoo. Both those two loved me. And then I got a Jungwon, and I got a Doyam, and I got a Jungwoo special card. And then in my other second copies, I pulled a Jihoon and a Haruto, and a Mashiho, and another Mashiho, and then I pulled a dupe of this Jungwoo, so still need to trade that, and then another Jungwoo, and a Junkyu, and another Jungwoo, so I did pull quite a bit of dupes. And then my postcards, okay, I have a Yoshi, and a Hyunsuk and a Doyoung and another Hyunsuk which I need to trade as well. Next album I got is Ensang. This is his solo album Beautiful Scar. I don't know why Brand New Music had to give him such thick packaging. It's even thicker than AB6's albums and theirs is already super thick. But yeah so and it's also just a single album so the three tracks on here plus the instrumental of the title track is on this thick thick packaging. I really liked Beautiful Scar. It was featuring Woo Jin of AB6 and that made it even better. I just overall really liked his debut as a soloist. Here's the other one. Both are super pretty um, and they were different photo shoots which was nice so overall I think this was amazing. I loved his debut. Photo cards you get a selfie and you also get a lent to killer so these were from the white one and then from the darker one Here's this card, and there's this Lenticular. Okay, it's upside down. <laughs> okay, there's the back. Next album is Day 6, Even of Day, which is the subunit of Day 6. I never saw this coming from Day 6, to be honest, but I'm not really complaining because the album was really good. It's um, other than their first mini and second mini and third mini. It's the only time they've done one version, so um, this was a really great album. I really liked the um, vocals and everything. Overall, really, really good. You get this, like, this thing. <laughs> it's one pill. And then you get two photo cards. I got one pill, and I also got Young K. And then you get a first press unit card. I got Doan and one pill. So that's that. Next album is Stray Kids. This is their repackage of Go Live, which is called In Life. So, yeah, here's the orange one. That's the normal edition, as well as this one, the other normal edition. It's yellow. 
and then the limited edition is black so they're very very pretty the packaging is similar to go live but it's skinnier and it's kind of like backwards but it makes sense because the title track is called backdoor anyways i really liked backdoor i think i like god's menu more than backdoor but backdoor has immensely grown on me i don't really have anything bad to say about it i think it's a really great song and um the tracks added also were really really good this album was already fantastic so overall amazing <laughs> you do get pre-order like little things here i have Ji Sung and i also have sigmin and i have jungin I did order one more limited from Catch Up CD. I don't know when that's going to be arriving. These are my pulls from the normal album. I got Chan right here, his double-sided card, and then I got the three Racha unit card. And then in the other no, uh, other yeah, the other normal edition, I got another Chan, his double-sided card, and then I got the Felix Hyunjin and Mino unit. In the limited, I got basically the same pulls as the first normal edition, Chan and three Racha photo card but I did end up trading both of those. I traded the Chan for a Sungmin selfie card and then the um the three racha for like the vocal racha unit. <laughs> so yeah. And then in the limited I got the um Hyunjin door photo card. <laughs> oh nice catch. So yeah my sub K albums would have arrived yesterday but I've explained on Twitter that that got stolen off my front porch so love that for me not really i've been very upset about it next album i got is card way with words this is their first single album so there is only one version thankfully so i saved money on that i really liked gunshot i thought it was a bop i think it's one of their best songs yeah maybe i feel like that's kind of an unpopular opinion uh, i think a lot of people weren't the biggest fan of this song but i liked it so you get this um like bullet looking thing uh i got jsef and then my photo card was jiu and she's my bias so i was very happy about that i also did buy a signed copy and that one is actually on the way and the next album i have here is wano yeah wow that's very reflective but yeah wano actually made his solo debut um it is very weird to not see him with monster x as a monster x fan for quite a while now it's just very weird to see him like not with them and to see Monster X not with him. But I, I, I can't complain because he is still in the industry. He is still making music. Weird to not see him as Monster X's Wano. He's just like Wano the soloist. But yeah, as I said, can't really complain with this. I love his solo music. It's great. It's everything. Like I can't complain about anything with his solo music. The B-sides were great too. He did do three versions. So here they all are. That was the version three. This one is the version two. And this one is the version 1, so they almost look identical, but slight changes on the um, album packaging. But yeah, so really, really liked it, but this album packaging, not the hugest fan of. I don't know why Highline did this. I don't. But the music quality is amazing, but the packaging is like not my favorite. But anyways, I did order copies from MMT as well, so I have double the photo cards. But from my unboxing, these are my original first press cards. That one's from the version 1. This one's from the version 2, and this one's from the version 3. And then in my second copies, I got this card from the version 1, and I got this card from version 2, and then I pulled the same version 3 card, so I still need to trade that. And then you also get postcards. I pulled this one and then two of this one, which I did end up trading, so that's on the way. This one is, yeah, love it. <laughs> I originally uh, pre-ordered from K-Town for You, so these are the K-Town for You cards. There's this one, and there's this one, and there's this one. And then the MMT cards are these. I really like the backs of the MMT ones, super pretty. And there's this one, and there's this one. So yeah, those are all of my Wano cards. And yeah, I think I said everything I wanted to about this album. Love his solo music, and I'm glad that he's doing well. And I'm so happy for Carolyn that she got into the Wano fan sign like virtual fan sign so happy for her if anyone deserves talking to him it's her because it's her alt you know i'm just so so happy for her next album is gravity that's so funny like talking about like monster x and like wano situation and the how much i hate starship and then we bring out gravity here <laughs> i mean i really do like gravity i i really didn't see myself buying gravity albums because i hate starship that much and i was going to like i've come to a point where i didn't really want to give starship any more of my money but Gravity is like, I really like their music a lot. But yeah, I couldn't, I can't resist because their music is so good. So 
here is their second mini uh, hideout, the new day we step into. <laughs> so this one is the version one, and then there's a red one, which is the version two, and there's a green one, which is the version three. Interesting color choices, but um, it, they all the albums together with their first mini are, are very, it's very colorful. Also, I must say the, the B-sides on that album are so freaking good. I like the B-sides so much more than the title track, Believer probably one of my favorite songs of this entire year like up there it's up there and realize too believer and realize those two songs are so freaking good like 10 times better than the title like okay i didn't bring out everything this album comes with because i was too lazy to bring them out but here's the photo card so i have mini from version one and then i have taeyang from version two and i have um Wanjin, <laughs> my mind was blanking. Wanjin from version three. And then you also get K Jump View cards. I'll show those in a bit. Um, so these are these things. I have um, Hyungjoon and I also have Sedim and Jungmo. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just showing them all at once. Got those. And then you get the like group Polaroids, but I was too lazy to bring those out. But I did end up getting like everyone. And then my K Jump View cards, I got. A, another mini this is the back and I got a Jungmo and I got a Wanbin so yeah oh yeah and you also get like these weird like standy like full body standy things yeah <laughs> you can watch my unboxing if you want to see who I got we're getting close to the end I swear <laughs> so next one I got is Everglow they finally made their comeback <sighs> yeah apparently this is the coordinates of Antarctica here's the black one and here is the uh, pink one. I loved their comeback, La Vida. One of my favorites from them. Yeah, I, I think it might even be my favorite title track. Uh, it's next to Dun Dun. I think Dun Dun. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's really, really good. So <laughs> I think all of Everglow's title tracks are amazing. And all of their B-sides are great too. I really, really like Everglow. They're a very promising group. I think they're doing amazing things. Um, it's such a shame that they're from a Chinese company because... No one in Korea cares about anyone from a Chinese company, apparently, but um, they're amazing. So I definitely would check them out if you haven't. They have all bops, and I'm not the hugest fan of this packaging with the sticker seal and everything. It just makes it more difficult to get to the CD if I want to play it on my CD player, but whatever. Photo cards. I got um, an EU photo card. That's really cute. And then I also got an Onda photo card, and this one was from the black version. And then from the pink one, I got a um, Aisha photo card, and I got the first press uh, Xi'an photo card. It's this holographic, really pretty card. See, so yeah, apparently those aren't in all of the albums, so I felt very blessed to get that. But my pink one did not come with postcards, which it should have, so I'm, I did order a pink one signed from M-Wave, so I'm really hoping that I get the postcards in that. Next album is Ace. This is their fourth mini, The Butterfly Fantasy. Okay, everyone has been freaking out over this album packaging. It is freaking gorgeous, and I don't blame anyone for wanting to buy this album because it's freaking gorgeous, but the B-sides are really great too, and like the styling in this, amazing. You know, actually my favorite, Chan, looks so good in this era, honestly. Everyone did, but um, I love Favorite Boys, or Goblin Favorite Boys. Such a good title, one of my favorites from them. I have been loving Ace's music, like all of their recent music, have been amazing i mean their debut was great too and like colin was really good colin is also one of my favorites but their more recent music is like my favorite so freaking good i feel like they deserve better like packaging than this they've been getting this packaging since undercover but anyways amazing i did buy many of this album like many some sites did pre-order cards and you know i can't resist with the pre-order cards okay i did pull a lot of dupes because as we all know like i guess all choices know that I bought this album that they did not mix like if you bought like multiple albums you, like you're getting all the same cards anyway so i have this stone moon right here and the backs do complete a like puzzle or sorry like a map yeah a map another dome moon and a, another dome moon i am collecting his cards as well as chan so yeah wish me luck this was the only non dome moon and chan photo card i pulled this bk <laughs> and then i have a chan right here only one of my trades arrived so far, which is this Chan. So I do have a few more on the way that have not arrived. And then my sub K pre-order cards. I actually ordered five albums. So I pulled the whole group except for um, Byungwon basically. So I have a June right here. This is what the backs look like. 
and I pulled double of the Stone Moon, but I, I'm trying to trade that for the Make Star card once those release. I don't know when that will be. And I pulled this Seiyun card, super freaking gorgeous. And I pulled this Chan card. And then you do get bookmarks as well. I pulled a lot of the same ones. I pulled I pulled mainly Dong Moon. I pulled like three of his. And then I pulled a Chan and a June. But yeah, it was like mainly like all Dong Moon. So <laughs> these were the only three members I got out of like all six albums I bought or whatever. Next album are my favorite girls, CLC. CLC is, is one of my favorite like groups, like all time favorite groups. I love them so much and when I found out they were actually making a comeback I almost like freaked out like I did freak out like I don't know it was it was just like insane to me cube does the absolute bare minimum for CLC it is not fair okay I thought this was upside down hold on a minute there we go <laughs> um but yeah anyways and we actually got a physical like the last like three releases from CLC have all been digital singles I I'm very happy with this. <laughs> like, it's not a full album. We only got one song. I, I can't complain at this point. I can't, so, um, because we actually got a physical, so here it is, and it is very gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. I love the concept. This concept, stunning. Love it. Helicopter, one of my favorite titles of this entire year. I can't complain with anything about this era. Love them so much. My photo cards, you, okay, you do get this like sticker. It looks like a postcard, but it's a sticker. I got Elkie, and then you get a bookmark. I got Sungyeon, and then you get this like, I don't even know what to call this, just a really big photo card. I got Yen, and she's my bias, so I was very happy about that. I feel like I, it looked like I flipped you guys off. There you go. And then this super skinny card, it's like so tiny and skinny. I got Inbin and the back says helicopter. Apparently there are selfie cards, so I'm really sad I did not get a selfie card, but it is what it is. CLC are ultimate queens. Everyone needs to support them <laughs> and stream helicopter. Oh my gosh, okay, so, geez. Okay, we have Super M's new album, Super One. Yes, this comeback was amazing. I feel like we had three titles because we had 100 music video, Tiger Inside music video, and then one music video. But one is the actual title track, which I think is my favorite out of the three. So I'm really glad everything worked out for me. Um, yes, and the packaging for Super One is looking like Obsession. I actually like the Obsession packaging. If I wasn't so low on space, I'd be like over the moon with this because I, I personally like bo box packaging. I shouldn't be a person that likes box packaging because I have no room at all. <laughs> like if I had all the room in the world, I, this would be the best. Um, Cause like I like the packaging, but storing wise, when I have like no room at all, I'm like on the fence about it, but like, okay, it's just very pretty. So we have the orange one right here. And then I also have the green one. And I don't live in America, so I could not obviously walk in a target because there is no target in Canada it's just not a thing that we do have we do have music stores but if they are going to sell k-pop albums it's not going to be the day of the release it's going to be a month after the release so I had to order from Amazon but I was able to get the Amazon limited edition which is this one right here the target limited edition is orange and it has a different cover so I maybe eventually will get that one day and then we have the unit ones. So this one is the Taemin and Taeyong unit one. And this one right here is the um, Ten and Kai unit one. And this one right here is the Mark, Baekhyun, and Lucas unit. So yeah, <laughs> look at this. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Um, as I said, I loved their comeback. I loved this album. It was a full album, so it was really nice to get more music from Super M. Um, I have a feeling that we probably would have went on another tour with them after this album released, but because of COVID, it's not going to happen. I don't even know, like, because I have a ticket to see Monster X in two different shows, one in San Jose and one in LA. I honestly don't, at this point, I don't even see that happening. Like, I don't. But anyways, I did pull some dupes and I did do some trading already, so I don't have all of the cards with me, but we'll just show. Okay, so we're going to show the selfie cards first. I have a 10 right here. And I also pulled this super cute Baekhyun. I was so blessed with that one. And I pulled this Kai. So those were the only selfie cards I pulled. You do get many group cards. You know, what I don't like is that they put a group card, like you're guaranteed to get a group card in every version, but they also make the group card random. So you could get two group cards in one. That was dumb. That was dumb. But anyways, 
So here are the group cards. You get this really cute selfie one, which I like. And then you get this far away one. There are like different types and I did get both the different types for this one. They look the exact same, but they are different. But the pink one, I pulled the same one, so I need to trade that one. And then in the unit ones, you are guaranteed each like unit in the one you bought. So this one is the Taemin and Taeyong unit. And then this one is the Mark, Baekhyun and Lucas unit. And this one is the Kai and Ten unit. And then you get these weird ID card things. I call them weird because they're heavy. I don't even know why they made them heavy. But anyway, so I have a Baekhyun. Sorry, I'm shaking. <laughs> I, I shook in my unboxing too. And then I have a Taeyong. And I have a Ten, a Mark, and a Lucas. I did have a Lucas green one, but I traded that one for a Taemin because I had two Lucases and I had no Taemin, so I might as well trade that. I know they're different because they're like they are different pictures and different colors, but I wanted a Taemin. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, I pulled nothing of Taemin in the cards. I luckily pulled his postcard though. So here are my postcards. I did pull a Taeyong. I pulled two of this Taeyong. And I pulled a Baekhyun, and I pulled a Ten, and a Taemin, which I also pulled two of. I did trade um, one of my Taeyongs for the group, and then I traded, I am in the middle of trading my extra Taemin for Lucas. So yeah, the very last album I got in September was The Boys, oh my gosh. <laughs> the Boys, this is their um, fifth mini, The Stealer. Ah, uh, yeah, it's very reflective. So this one is the gold one, and then I also got the black one. And I also got the white, gray, pearly kind of a color one. Also, this packaging, like, the photo book is not connected, so that's fun. But um, I really like this thing right here and, like, this, like, you know, I showed a mind boxing. It's really cool. But, yeah, I I'm not the hugest fan of this packaging. It's very, like, very skinny and very fragile and very... It looks like it's falling apart, but it's just, like, not connected. So anyways but their comeback was really good i really liked the album i think the boys are doing well i feel like they their popularity spiked after road to kingdom which is really cool so i love that for them but um yeah so we got that there were quite a bit of cards so we'll go through that very quickly in the gold one you do get two selfie cards i got a chani super cute and i got a young moon very adorable i love his outfit and then you get this like ticket card thing. I have Q. And then my Lenticular, I have Sanu. That's the back. And then in the black, was it black? Yep, yeah, the black one, I have a Hyunjae card. The back is pink. And then I have a Sanu card. And my ticket was Hangyeon. And my Lenti was Sangyeon, who I think looked the best this era. He looked amazing. And then in the gray one i got a jacob and i got a another q i pulled a lot of q in this comeback but nothing of kevin not a single kevin showed up can you believe that and then my ticket thing was eric and my lent killer was q again <laughs> i pulled so many q um yeah so i oh yeah my postcards as well q <laughs> like he loved me and then Hanyan and Sanu as well liked me a lot. Like, my second and third bias loved me a lot, but my actual bias, where are you? <laughs> Kevin was MIA in this album, but I did buy, was it Make Star? No, I think it was either Make Star or I think it was MMT. I did buy the MMT copies, so those will be on the way, and hopefully I pull some Kevin in that, please. Absolute last thing I got in September is Stray Kids second photo book, Stay in Playground. It's very pretty, it's very cute, and um, I liked the school theme, so that was adorable. And that's that, so you do, I did not order from Sub K or anything, I just ordered this from eBay, so I didn't really get any pre-order cards, but my photo cards. I have a Hyunjin right here, and I also have a Jungin. Super cute. These are adorable. That was it for this entire video. Uh, I feel like it's very long, so I'm sorry. I will try my best to like cut out a lot. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!